Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today, let's learn about how to factor polynomials. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. We're given this problem here. Factor completely 24y squared minus a 150. Now, the first thing I'm looking at here is a, well, what number really goes into both parts here, a greatest common factor? We have 24y squared and 150. Well, 6 goes into each one of these. If I pull out a 6, what am I left with? Well, 6, or 24 divided by 6, comes out to be a 4. y squared minus 6 goes into, well, 150 25 times. All right? Now from here, it kind of gets a little difficult, especially if we have a coefficient well, our a value of 4. We're going to look inside this parenthesis. One thing I notice here is, well, 4 is 2 squared, and 25 is 5 squared. And, well, y squared is y squared. Let's rewrite this as 6 times, instead of 4 times y squared, I can write this as a 2y, all squared, minus, well, the 25 here be, well, a 5 squared. Right there. Okay? Now, this is actually a special case, the difference of squares that we've talked about. We have a 2y squared minus a 5y all squared, and we need to factor all that. This actually comes out to be, let's leave the 6 out here, and we can write this as a 2y, our first value, minus the second value, 5, multiplied by first value, 2y, plus a 5. And we can kind of quickly check and see how that works here. We see a 2y times 2y gives us that 4y squared. 2y times a 5 is a 10y. Negative 5 times a 2y is a negative 10y. They cancel each other out, so we have nothing there in the y section. And then negative 5 times a positive 5 gives me a negative. 25. So you kind of do a quick check there to see if you did it right. Either way, I've got my answer. I don't see any way that I can simplify this anymore or factor it anymore. And we have a final answer of 6 times 2y minus 5 times 2y plus 5. I hope you learned something here on how to factor polynomials. And if you did, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, Thanks for watching.